Hello, I'm Tiam Singh. Welcome to another lesson in E3D. Today we'll talk about event-driven graphics or EDG. EDG was the way we interact with the graphics canvas in PDMS. We now have in-canvas editor in E3D, but EDG is still used in E3D. So here is the lesson about it. Before we start on EDG, I'm going to configure the power compass. Let's now go into project tab and call our options. The power compass is found in the view right at the bottom and really I like to change the look knob to look from knob and the size to be 80%. With the look from knob option, if I click on the U, that means it is looking down. It's look from the up direction. So that helps me a little bit in the way I use the view manipulation. Now let's get back to EDG. Let's start by looking at where EDG can be found. In E3D 2.1, EDG was used in Measure, but it is no longer now. Let's look at the Position app. So when you start the Position app, the EDG will come on. The left side of the EDG panel allows you to set what is to be selected. You can set the interaction to any, which means you can select P points and elements. Graphics allows you to even select vertices of the graphics, P line, P point only, elements only. There are two or three other options which we do not use that often screen, A, and point cloud. Next, we'll look at the right side of the panel. This is how we pick. It may be snap, midpoint, intercept, or cursor. With any and snap selected, when we select any primitives, the position derived will be the center of the primitive. The way to use EDG is to select the primitive that we want to derive the P point or the center. Do not let go, but drag your cursor to the P point and you can see the icon changes and that will derive the position of that P point. And that information is translated to the position that you see in the explicit position form. Next, we take a look at graphics. In the graphics, you can select the vertices at the end of the graphics. You can also select the edge or surface. You can see the icon change as you select the different type of graphic element. Next, let's change the snap to midpoint. Since when we select the midpoint of the edge, the system will obtain the position of the midpoint of the edge that we selected. You can see the point selected by the axis being placed there. Next, let's look at intersection. This intersection requires two peaks. You can pick the first edge and the second edge and it will be the intersection between the two edges that we pick. Lastly, we look at cursor which is to... Cursor allow us to pick any positions. The position that we pick are fed back into the positioning form and uh, the element that we are manipulating will not be manipulated until we choose the apply. We can lock the axis in the explicit position 
So whatever we pay, that axis will not change. Now let's see how we can use the position app with EVG. First, let's select a point near the pump. We didn't unlock the up axis. Let's unlock and select the point again. Using the position selected, we can modify the position directly in the position form. Next, we do the apply and the primitives will go to this position. Looks like we position the cylinder and not the equipment. So for this case, we have to modify the position or the origin of the equipment and let's go into the equipment application and reposition the origin this is something that some modeler makes mistakes when they do modification to the primitive inside let's look at EVG being used in the move offset form we are going to align the base of the cylinder to the base of the pump. We will lock the east and north and provide the distance in the offset. When you are in the EDG mode, the power compass does not work. You have to revert back to the old PDMS manipulation which allows you to change to the various views. Let's select the center of view by using a element and let's look sub and let's align the bottom of the cylinder to the bottom of the pump by selecting the bottom of cylinder and then the lesson shows you the position at and position by using EDG. Thanks for watching. See you again. Bye.